You getting eaten? Mosquitoes are relentless. Welcome to Tennessee. How's it going? All right. Not great. Not terrible. <laughs> it's going okay. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just okay. Stop eating your hair. Stop it. <laughs> so uh, we are cutting Miko's hair today. Um, it's going pretty good. I'm going to show you guys how it's going, but um, I've already started. And uh, man, he looks, he looks like I botched him. Just does not look super great, but it's all right, bud, right? We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. I'm pretty much done. He's all set. He's got a beautiful haircut. Just in time for winter where we could actually, we can put his coat on him that we got him last winter. It's like blue and orange and got like plaid and it's a really cool color. And he's gonna look adorable in it. And now he can fit in it because he's got a haircut. Miko, you ready for a bath? All right, so we are totally done with the bath now. He looks, he looks okay. He doesn't look great, but he looks okay. We're gonna go find Ashley. So here we go. Hello. Oh no. Here he is. He's so short. He looks like a terrier. <laughs> a little bit. Can you just put him down? Uh, he's soaking wet. I'll put him down. Yeah. What are you doing? What? You want me to chase you? What? So cute. He's so excited. You literally brush the front of his like you would your own. Yeah, well, I got to, <laughs> you know? I know, but you even make him clench. Well, that's only because <laughs> otherwise I can't I can't reach up there. He like fights me. <laughs> every time. It's just like, dude. It's so funny. I do this every day. Please stop fighting me. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Hey. You guys ready to go potty? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, let's go potty. Chooch, that is not a pee spot. No. No. just got out of church it is sunday morning and we're debating what to do we have a couple ideas my idea was to go get coffee i suggested a puzzle going to buy a new puzzle i think coffees are a no-brainer maybe what we could do is we could get the pumpkin spice syrup and we could have pumpkin spice coffees who likes pumpkin spice in this car <coughs> both of us who doesn't like pumpkin spice in this car neither of us I don't both like pumpkin spice. Got it. You don't know this. I like... I, I thought you liked it. I don't like cinnamony things very much. Mm. I don't really enjoy the pumpkin spice life of the 
but you do love it. Love it. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Easily my favorite. And then there's eggnog for me. Oh, we could do eggnog as the cream. Wait, hold on. It's the end of October. Do they have eggnog right now? I think they have eggnog out. Yeah, we could do eggnog creamer. And we could make coffees with vanilla. <sighs> I don't like coffee with eggnog very much though. Really? I like it with like an eggnog creamer might be good though, but I don't know who makes one. You know, you okay. should get eggnog. Eggnog's so thick, it's like a creamer in itself. We gotta go. We gotta do some research now. What if we frothed it? Because I don't know if we've ever frothed it. You might get scrambled eggs. No, why? Yeah, because it's, it's a yolk. I don't think so. I don't think it's you It's egg would. yolk in there. Okay, we gotta do some research right now. And we'll see y'all in a sec. <laughs> You guys just missed it. I blessed Ashley as Princess Varianda of the Seventh Realm. Okay, do you like this? With this. <laughs> you would have to cut this. I have to fit in there. Your Majesty, Your Grace, please. I'd rather do this or this than that. I mean, this is awesome though. Okay. Whack each other with this for fun. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just randomly pull it out and whack you. <laughs> what? <laughs> During an argument, we'll pull that one out, and whoever is holding that gets the talk. <laughs> These are our debates. This one? This one. You're out! <laughs> you don't get Although it does look a little bit bare in the middle. He's so silly. Look, they have little ones! Yeah. Oh my god. God. Look at this. I just found a little one of this big thing. <gasps> I like that one. You have my vote on this. If one. we get this big one and the small one, it's a lot less bare in the center. Can you find more of these? These are cute. Possibly. So this one? Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I don't want a Charlie Brown. Christmas. Just one of them would be a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. We might need three. One more small. One more small one. These are cute. Babe, good job. Matt is so good at stuff like this. I'm the best. He really is. He picked up. Sorry, did that hurt? Ow! That's <laughs> Cute. Do you like? There's a lot going on in that little. There's a lot going pom -pom. on. I think only two of those. If it's gonna be this, I think just two of these. I think three is too much. I think three is too much. Right, yeah, it's probably better. Is it cute? You know what I'm talking about? You bought it for. You know Which what one? I'm talking about? No. What does it look the like? The tall one. <laughs> it's not in this aisle. Oh. Let me go find Giles, it. So this is my idea. A vase with a branch. One branch? Yeah. You just want a single branch? You can put stuff at the bottom of a vase. So what if we put stuff at the bottom? Don't like it. I think that's cute. The vase is just too big. This is our vase, right? Yeah. We need something like this size. I'm not buying a new vase to just do Christmas stuff though. Well, right there. When it's uh, slightly too hot to touch. For future, you always want to make your wife's latte first before yours. Oh, that's a good point. Husbands, make note of that. Pro tip: make your wife's latte before yours. Do everything for your wife before you do it. Oh, that's a good call. That's a pro tip. That is a pro tip. You want me to do yours? No. I can make a pretty good blob. No, I don't want your blob. I looked up latte videos and I said that And you came over here and said, that's not what you're supposed to do. And I literally see, like, started laughing. And I'm like thinking, it probably isn't, but this is the best I got. That's what I'm thinking now. I'm like, yeah, it probably isn't. This is the best I got, though. Hey, that's still good. Look, I made a Christmas tree. Babe, you're amazing. Well, but look at yours. Yours is like... A blob? A foamy blob. And at least mine, I think you could see there was a tree. And then I added these. My attempt at a leaf. The circles. So you can probably tell all we did was get these. They're really cute though. They're so cute. Hearth and hand. This is all we got. We got nothing else but this. We didn't get any of the branches. 
Okay, so we need to decide what we're going to do. I have an idea. What's your brilliant idea, baby? My brilliant idea was... Um, Getting syrup. That's a good idea. But no. Um, my idea was you and I... Um, Decorating the house for Christmas. No. Okay, so mm. we used to do this thing. My mom would get all the Christmas decorations down and then... With your hair. Sweet. My mom would get all the Christmas decorations down and then we would mm -hmm. like decorate the house. And did it for years. And I don't dislike it. I like Christmas decorations. I like Christmas. Minimally. I do. But I like minimal Christmas decorations. Yeah. And I appreciate them. That's sweet. But... And you like the cozy... I gotta be, cool. like, in this mood of, like, I have nothing to do. Let's put up some Christmas decorations. And you have nothing to do right now. No, this is... Okay, that's... Okay. No. That doesn't count. But I do have an idea. Okay, what's your idea? Mm. Mm. Okay, try that no, again. No, I'm not trying this again. It, it, just trust me. Okay. Get some of that foam. It does not... Try it. Get I, some of the foam. That's what I had last mm. time. Go try it. Don't. Delicious. Matt puts the syrup in it and it tastes like 7 up. Did you fart? No. It looks stinky. So, here's my idea. <laughs> so, my idea is that we actually talk about some of our favorite Christmas, either like memories and movies and songs. You and I together? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that would be really fun. Okay. Because I'd like to hear some of yours or like traditions or like things mm -hmm. to do during Christmas because I think traditionally our Christmases are very, very different. What do you think? What do you think of my idea? Sure. Does that sound like fun? I was sitting here thinking like, I wonder what movies Ashley, like what's her favorite Christmas movie? I wonder what, and I was just thinking, I was like, I don't know. I don't know these answers. Yeah. I don't know what her favorite thing to do at Christmas is. I don't know what her favorite Christmas memory is. Like all these things. I love it. I think it'd be fun to like write down a couple, yeah, couple things, fun. write down a couple ideas. Questions. Yeah, questions. And then we both take turns. We'll pull them. Like one, Okay. We'll pull them. We'll cut them up and then we'll we pull them. We can put them in like a mug or something or a bowl. A Christmas mug. Okay. We'll put them in a Christmas mug Correct. and then we'll dig them out. We'll answer them one by one. Correct. Do we have other Christmas mugs than this? We're very minimal Christmas people. We have one box for Christmas and that's our holiday said, in the whole wide world. We're never having more than two boxes for Christmas. I think I said one box. <laughs> In fourth grade, I don't know if you know this about me. I had, it was a requirement for us to memorize the Christmas story. So, is that what it's called? With, uh, yeah, I looked out my room. Yeah, the night before Christmas. That's and what the creature was stirring that one. Yeah, we had to memorize that entire thing. What? And I didn't memorize it all. Okay. And I had to get up in front of the class and say it. I memorized it almost half of it, like the night before. Like I okay, I worked. Why did on you it. wait? Because that's I guess that's what I did. I don't know. I swear I, I would what I would do is I would work on something and be like, oh my gosh, I did so much of it. I memorized so much of it. Okay. And then You'd I like forget it. And then yeah, and then I would be like, oh shoot, I, that's due tomorrow. And then I would have to go back. Okay. And I'm really good at memorizing something and then revisiting it and knowing it all still. Yeah. I'm listening. So what I should have done is kept working on it and then had a break and then just went back. Yeah. I revisited it, but that's not what I did. My work ethic's very different now, just then. Yeah. To a degree. To a degree? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Like there are some times when I do push things. Got it. Isn't that funny though that that was a requirement? It's a bizarre requirement. Okay, so we found this mug because we don't have other Christmas mugs than the nope. one we bought today. We don't. We're gonna draw questions. Then we're gonna answer them. Be fun. Ladies I'm looking first. forward to this. Yeah, go for it. Wait, hold on a second. Put them back, put them back. Yeah, I got All right. mats. Okay. What? Go for it. Oh, good. What is your favorite Christmas dessert? That's a good question. Okay. I love sugar cookies, like decorating sugar cookies and yeah. eating them. I love that. But they're normally shortbread cookies. I love that though. I love sugar and shortbread cookies. And then I love eggnog, if that it's a drink though, so I don't know if it counts, but like eggnog is what I would have after dinner when I was younger. So there's that. Nice. Okay, do you want to answer sure. two? Yeah, why not? What is your favorite Christmas dessert? Pie. Pie. It's 
so funny because I don't like pie. Love pie. Except chocolate milk pie. Um, yeah, whether it's like a chocolate pie or a pumpkin pie or a, uh, an apple pie this or man cherry pie or a pecan pie. Loves pie. Okay. All right. Ooh, I got one of yours. Favorite scent: candle, Christmas tree, etc. Like um, those were examples. Yeah, my favorite, I guess, Christmas scent is probably a Christmas tree. Okay. Pine air freshener. Yeah. You'd rather have a real Christmas tree. Though. I would. Always. I like the scent of a Christmas tree candle if I don't have a real Christmas tree, but if I have a real Christmas tree, that's my favorite. I'll also, that hot cocoa one that you have. Oh my god. You got that at Christmas? Smell it's called so hot good. cocoa uh hot cocoa and cream, I believe. Yeah, it's delicious. It smells incredible. It smells like brownies fresh out of the oven. It does. Where would your ideal Christmas be and who would be there? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I would love a snowy Christmas mm -hmm. in like Colorado or Wyoming. Probably okay. Wyoming. Okay. I've always wanted to go to Wyoming. I've yeah. heard it's so beautiful. And I want you there, but I also would love to fly the whole family in. Yeah. Like I would want the be whole a lot of fun. family there. I want kiddos there too. So mm -hmm. it'd be, I think it'd be really fun just to have our family for a little bit. Like we go early mm -hmm. and we like ski, snowboard, everything. And then our family comes a couple days earlier before Christmas. Yeah. Like, say we're there for a week. Right. And then they come, like, three or four days, like, just so we could have <laughs> some fun with kiddos. Right? Yeah. And then our whole family comes in, obviously, when they can. And then, but they're still there before Christmas. And then we get to make cookies all together and everything. Yeah. Like, because that's a family tradition in Matt's family. It is. Big, and big then, family tradition. And then, so it'd be really fun to have like a big cabin mm -hmm. and then to like go snowboarding, ski skiing with them and sledding and saucers. Yeah, it'd be fun. And then, and probably like all have like in the cabin hot cocoa and everything and join. And then have Christmas all together there. Nice. And then everybody goes home. Yeah, I like it. Okay, that would be... Be yours. That'd be my ideal. Like that's like a dream, dreamy Christmas for me. That's yeah. super dreamy. Yeah, mine would probably be the same, except it would probably be like, like, the same thing. Yeah. Um, like in a like cabin in the mountains. Yeah. But the cabin would be slightly more modern inside with like white walls instead of like just wood. Everything cabiny, yeah. you know. And then, yeah, that's everybody playing in the snow. Whole family there. Mm. Big giant tree, you know, 15 foot Christmas tree. Yeah, that would be so fun. That'd be it for me. I'd love that. Okay. All right, here we go. I got another one of yours. How do we? How does this keep happening? I love it. How handsome is Matt in a Christmas sweater? Mm. On a scale so of handsome. nine to ten. Oh. I would say. I need a bigger scale than that. Probably, probably ten. You're answering um, for me, or you're answering how hot you are. I don't know, that's what the question said. <laughs> I'm, I'm just reading the question. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, Three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. <laughs> you can't chew, I heard yeah. you chew. You chewed! Yeah, yeah. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, forty. 42, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. You win nothing, just FYI. If you do it, except like three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> 54, 55, 56. You can't. Not good. <laughs> 57, 58. 59. This is fat kids, everybody. 60. 61. 62. I'm done. 62. <laughs> you make me want to redo mine. I thought I got to 17. But I didn't allow myself to crunch any. 
I will say it helps when it starts to get soggy, though. <laughs> they just start to wilt. Mm -hmm. That was impressive, bro. I could keep going, but I just kind of felt like I was cheating because they were just all wilting in my mouth. You were. I need, like, marshmallows. And then you have to take Chubby Bunny, which was, like, the most challenging part. I laughed so hard playing Chubby Bunny when I was younger. I bet. Guess what? I ran and I have 81 active minutes. And, hold on. And I took, well, I only took 12,800 steps today. But, <laughs> that's really good. But today I burned 2,812 calories so far. That was pretty good. I'm going to hit my goal of 30,000. That's so good, babe. Good job. Congrats. And, I ran six miles today. Whoa! No way. I probably ran like five, but it says six. That's so. really good. Congrats. Thanks. That's amazing. Thanks. That's five more than I've run. Good job. You ran a mile? You said it was more, it was more like five. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, it says 6.73. I love how I'm over here whispering, and then you just say, guess what? Thank you.